How important is a responsible coal supply chain to you? Coal pollution is one of the biggest drivers of climate change. ActionAid therefore calls for a rapid and global phase-out of coal use. Um, this is in order to curb uh, climate change, but also to make sure that the human rights violations happening in the coal supply chain are stopped. Very important. In fact, Uniper is always looking at ways to uh, increase the resilience and the sustainability of our value chain, not only for coal, but for all the commodities that we use in trade. And for example, we do this by establishing dialogues with our stakeholders, balanced dialogues uh, based on facts and figures and, and unbiased information. What is the best way to deal with irresponsible mining companies? ActionAid expects that energy companies like Uniper hold the mines from which they buy coal responsible for human rights violations. These violations like intimidation, pollution and land grabs, they're not new. They have been known for many years and they have been right, widely reported on. Companies uh, like Uniper have committed to address these human rights violations, yet little has changed on the ground. In South Africa, a mother, mother whose children suffer from um, skin diseases, from lung diseases, she cannot wait for a solution. She needs action to be taken now and she needs the pollution to stop now. Easy solution would be to disengage. But we at Uniper, we think that should be your last resort. Because if you end relationships with a company, you have no more influence. Instead, we decided to become a core member of BetterCall. BetterCall is an international organization that stimulates continuous improvements in the coal supply chain worldwide. They have an auditing system and mining companies can participate in these audits. Certain issues will come up and then together with the mining companies we set up a plan for improvement. And we honestly think that is a much more sustainable way in dealing with the coal supply chain than just to walk away from responsibilities. How do you ensure an inclusive and balanced dialogue on this topic? Um, I think this is not about dialogue, I think it's about action. And uh, when it comes to protecting people's lives, um, this is not a matter of business uh, calculations. Uh, it should be about taking action now. So um, energy companies like Uniper should not have any patience with mining companies that do not respect human rights violations. They need to make sure that the horrible situation these people live in uh, are stopped now and that the production of energy in the Netherlands and in Europe uh, does not uh, contribute to human rights violations at the other side of the planet. We work closely together with governments and NGOs in Europe and at the same time with the embassies in the countries we source coal from and local stakeholders. And in that way we create a trustworthy multi-stakeholder network. And only in that way we can find the right information, the true uh, information that we need to define issues and work on them together with the people over there and the people here in Europe. South Africa is an example of a complex and challenging country regarding coal mining. In South Africa, people are being kicked off their land to make way for coal mining operations. There is massive pollution. In South Africa, uh, people have seen their green and lush lands turn into uh, dark and, and ravaged areas. As a consequence of that, people suffer from uh, skin diseases and from lung diseases. We need to make sure that these widespread human rights violations are stopped now. Indeed. Um, in the Netherlands, we organize missions. We organize these missions together with the Ministry of Foreign Trade and NGOs to strategic countries. South Africa is a strategic country that exports coal to Europe. Um, we went on a mission last November and we visited mines, the embassy, local authorities, but also the communities. Communities that are affected by mining operations. And it is thanks to Action Aid that we could get in touch with these communities, listen to their concerns, and address those concerns back to the mining companies that work in that area. Afterwards, after coming back, we established an action plan. I will give you a few examples of what we have put in that action plan. First of all, 
We keep pushing for better coal to be promoted in South Africa with the Chamber of Mines and ESCOM, the largest utility. We really hope to get them on board. Secondly, we organize a return trip for the authorities and NGOs in South Africa to come to Holland and Germany to, to share best practices with us. And last but not least, we will follow up on the promises of the mining companies towards the local communities. We will do that for the rest of the year together with our partners and we look forward to a next mission soon.